What do most people get wrong about using Perzosin? Now, if you're not familiar with Perzosin's use in psychiatry, then it's primarily used for PTSD-related nightmares, as well as autonomic arousal associated with trauma. Now, whenever somebody presents with nightmares as a prominent symptom of their PTSD, I will consider Perzosin. Now, it's important to understand a couple things about the dosing. So when dosing this medication, it's essential that you start at one milligram at bedtime. And why is that? Because there's a 1% chance that people can develop syncope when you start above that dose. But here's the catch and here's the most important point. From a dosing perspective, it is very individualized. Some people have good benefits with as little as two milligrams at bedtime, and others need upwards of 40 milligrams per day. So the biggest mistake I see clinically when using this medication is not dosing it to an appropriate, or not titrating it to an appropriate dose. People will be left on one to two milligrams of Perzosin for very long periods of time, where it, and then they'll be saying it's not effective, it's not useful. And nobody will really think to go, okay, well maybe this is one of those individuals that needs a dose of 30 milligrams per day. You're just not gonna know until you do the titration. So keep in mind that under dosing this medication is something I see all the time clinically and something to consider when you're treating patients with PTSD related nightmares.